Hey everyone, Dave here. If you hate mosquitoes as much as I hate mosquitoes, I got a little trick I want to share with you today. Stick around. So this year so far, I've been doing all kinds of trail maintenance on the North Country Trail. I volunteer with the North Country Trail. And right about now, mosquitoes get to be super crazy. Now in order to do this, you're gonna need a couple things. First of all, I like to use a soup can because once it's destroyed, I don't really care too much about it and a coat hanger. And you simply just drill a couple holes in either side of the soup can, grab an old hanger, wire hanger, bend it around, bend the tips of the coat hanger so that they'll fit into the can, put them in the can, and then you've got this little dangly pot thing. Now, now that's, that's the smudge pot. It's as simple how to make a smudge pot. Now, in order to do the smudge itself, here's what you need. As you're in the forest, what you need to be looking for is something called punkwood is something a lot of people refer to as punkwood and basically what punkwood is punkwood is dead dry rotten wood i mean it is wood where a lot of the materials you know that hold it together is just kind of like powder sometimes people call it powder wood because you know when you break it it kind of turned into powder you need dry punkwood and a lot of times you're going to find it any down tree you look for really old down trees along the ground and all you're going to do is you're going to take your dry punkwood Put chunks of it in your can, like this. All I'm gonna do now is just take a lighter and light it, okay? Just light that thing on fire. And although you don't want it to flame like a fire fire, you do wanna get it going enough so that you get a fair amount of smoke. Now once the thing's good and lit, here's what you're gonna have. You're gonna have a little pot of smoke that's just kind of smoldering there. There's no flames. When you make a smudge pot like this, one thing I really suggest against is putting any kinds of holes in the cup. And there's two reasons for that. One, you don't want any oxygen feeding this fire. You want it to just smoke like this because that's really gonna keep the mosquitoes away. The other reason is because if, if for some reason you're in an area that's susceptible to forest fires, and you really gotta be careful with this for this reason as well, you know, you've got, you're basically carrying around a, a fire and you don't want any of those embers or anything to fall to the ground. You just want it to just burn down very slowly and just put off this nice, slow, you know, smoke. Once you get this thing started with some dry punk wood, one of the things that you can do is if you find some wet punk wood, you can actually add that on and as the rest of it smolders, you know, it, dr it dries that. Um, wet punk wood out and then we'll eventually consume that as well. If you need more smoke at any time, all you got to do is blow in it. And you can see that's that's going to stoke the fire enough to give me a little bit more smoke. And before I take off here, I just can't express enough how important it is that you put these completely out. Um, you don't want any kind of forest fires going on. So what I've done is I've cleared up a spot of just dirt and all you're going to do is take the thing and flip it over and you're gonna wait there until there is no smoke coming out either of those holes and then finally as a precaution I've got a, I've got a little creek nearby I'm gonna dump my coals out in it when I'm done it's really cool how effective this is in terms of keeping away mosquitoes and although I wouldn't suggest this for everyone you know for someone like me that is out every single day it seems working on the trail or you know outside doing stuff I don't want to put chemicals on me every single day I'd rather just have something like this that's gonna tell the mosquitoes you're not welcome here so anyways that's a smudge pot super simple super easy super cheap and just something that I thought I'd share with you something I learned along the way that might help keep you <laughs> out of the loony bin from all the mosquitoes that are coming out this season anyways Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you tagging along. And I just want to say, I apologize. I haven't been putting out videos like I used to or I had in the past. If you've been following some of my other feeds, you know that I've been really busy with the North Country Trail Association, um, building bridges like the one you see behind here and maintaining trail through my area. And so I, a lot of my free time has been caught up in, in doing that sort of thing. And so I apologize for not putting as many videos out as I have in previous years. But this tip is really really saved my sanity this year and I wanted to share that with you. Hey, if this was helpful to you, appreciate it giving you a thumbs up. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe and definitely share this with all of your friends who hate mosquitoes as much as I do. Otherwise, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video or we'll see you outdoors. Take care.